Well, what's happening, everybody? I'm gonna fish a creek, and if it looks familiar, I fished it about a month and a half ago, and I fished it last year once or twice. And uh, last time I fished it, though, I fished it with ultralight. I did ultralight fishing, caught a ton of fish, but I was throwing small lures, and I saw several really nice largemouth. So we're middle of July, and I'm hoping those largemouth are coming up out of the lake further up into this creek. And today I'm, I'm going back and I'm targeting those big fish. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start out with my size 90 Whopper Plopper. Uh, I did some topwater fishing the other day and it was actually really awesome. Um, so it, it might still be really good in this creek and I'm hoping it'll pull out some of those big fish. A red breast hitting at it. <laughs> A red breast is popping at it. So those fish are hitting at it. I think we'll find some bass hitting at it. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're hitting. They're already hitting. All right. I think this is going to go really good. There's one. Oh, that's a good fish. It just landed. I hadn't even started reeling it yet. I forgot to bring my net again. It's laying in the truck. <laughs> First fish. Are you serious? Look at that. No giant. Giant, but good creek bass. Over a pack. Man, he's got kind of a weird shape to him. Big head, kind of skinny body. That's a good fish. That's a good shot right there. Let's see here. Six and a half minutes in, and we already landed what? Oh, why did I jerk? Don't jerk. Just let them let them get it. It's just a habit, you know. It's just like reaction. But I mean, if they usually if they hit it, they're gonna get hooked. But just let them. From what I've seen, just let them hook themselves, let them get it. There he is, give him, a, give him a second to pull it under. I knew there'd be another fish in this hole. Dude, the other, the other day when I came here, I couldn't, I was trying to throw all the kinds of things and I couldn't get any of these bigger fish to hit. Like these are one pound plus fish. And of course I was throwing ultralight stuff and small lures, but they just, these bigger ones just weren't interested. Oh, hold on. Man, they, they get hooked kind of weird whenever they hit this thing sometimes, but. All right, I was a topwater hater, but I'm I'm fastly becoming a believer. There he goes. Second fish in under 10 minutes. I was, all, I, I was planning on going to another creek, actually. I was gonna go scout out another creek. And then when I was coming across this one, I was like, oh yeah, I remember those big bass being in there. Let me try, the, you know, some top water, the whopper plopper, and see if it'll bring them out. And uh, yeah, 10 minutes in, it's bringing them out. Comes a little one. Nope, turn back. Oh, there's a little bass. The little bass are a little bit afraid to hit this, I feel like. Which is kind of neat. Oh, there's a gar right there. Let's see if a gar will hit at it. <laughs> Went right over top of him, he didn't even budge. There we go, he took it. Had to work my, whoa, this feels good. Had to work my way to the back of the pool to get one on this one. The front looked really good, but nothing hitting. That's a good pass. All right, calm down, calm down. Are right, you done? Come here. Dude, oh, we wasn't hooked too bad. Good. That last one I hooked, got, got, he was kind of hooked. 
Awkward. Man, look at the body on that fish. He's close to two pounds. It's a good fish, the black spots on him. I can't remember what that black spots means. I caught some the other day I had it on him. Man, the top water is pulling out the good ones. Come on, you're free. <laughs> he just swam off really slowly. Man, that's awesome. That's a good fish. That's the, that's the ones I saw. I knew there were some two pounders. Could be bigger in here. Oh, that was a good fish and I think I set the hook too early. Oh, I see him. He's a solid fish. He looked at it again. He's down right in front of me. He keeps looking at it. I think he knows better. Right, I've come to like a pretty long deep stretch and I haven't got a hit at all in it. And that's pretty typical of long stretches like this and long calm stretches and creeks and rivers and stuff like that. There's fish a lot of times. There's not, there's not much current. There, there's, I know there's fish living through here, but they're just, uh, it's not where they're usually going to be eating at. All right, I'm going to try and go around this section. It's really deep. I don't know if it's over my head or not, but I don't want to take off all of my, my um, camera and gear to get around it. So let me see if I can walk around it. Well, I waded through neck deep water, got out, went through a bunch of briars. The creek gets really deep through here, um, but I want to go down a little bit further. It goes into town, so I'll be able to walk the road back, but I wasn't planning on going through all these briars and bushes. Oh, there's a bill bass right over here. Dude, there's some bass in there. They are in there. I don't know if they're gonna be hitting in here. Man, there's some big fish out there. I don't even know what that was. All right, I'm gonna stand here and fish for a little while, I guess. Let's see if I can find, ouch. Let's see if I can get one of these fish to hit. Ow! Mm, just ripped my leg on the briars. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, there's several. There's several largemouth. Oh my. And if they wanted to hit it, they would hit it. Several right here. Dude, there's some good ones too. I've seen at least 10, two to three pound bass, maybe a couple a little bigger. But they're just not feeding in here. Maybe they are at nighttime or something like that. But right now they're just cruising and I'm throwing in a lure and they're just kind of running off or running away from it. So uh, I, I don't think I'm going to get these fish to bite. And um, a lot of times when they're feeding, they're going to go upstream. But there's so many fish hanging out through here. I saw something huge. It's like a, I saw like a 30, 40 pound fish. I don't know what it was. I'm going to make myself, I'm going to go back around the road and I'm going to go back with the, this little swim bait, I think and hit the very start and then maybe upstream a little bit i need to catch a few more fish out of here i know there's some more in there so let me uh let me go do a little bit of walking then we'll get back to fishing <laughs> all right i've been right back at the same spot where i started just on a different side i think i saw this one too little guy i think i saw him but he didn't hit the water plopper and uh I can, I can throw that, that swim bait back in the pool, that little deep or shallow pool, uh, a lot easier than I can to walk a plover. Well, let me, I'm gonna fish the same area for just a little bit, then go upstream a little bit. All right, I'm gonna come up through this stretch. A little bit of muskrat over there. Is that a baby one? Oh, I went in the hole. Tiny little muskrat went all over there. But uh, I remember catching a decent fish out of here, I think last time. 
but I've never gone up much further. I may have go up a little bit further and explore some more. Oh, a little decent fish. All right, I'm gonna switch back to the wobble plow, but I see a few more deep holes up here. And I saw some largemouth back there. They um, they wouldn't hit this, so maybe they'll hit the wobble plover. <laughs> Got it. Whatever that was, it hit. <sighs> yep, wobble plover is the way to go right now. It hit my swim bait. That's a good, that's a good fish. I thought it was gonna be a little tiny one. Hit my swing bait, didn't hit it hard, came off. First cast, whopper plopper. That's a good fish. Way up in there shallow. So I should have just stood with, stick with it. I didn't fish the swim bait much area, just a little bit of area. But I saw several bass that I didn't catch, so. There we go, there's another one. We got some shade coming up and coming up here. This might be where they're hanging out at. There we go. There had to be something up in here. As soon as I get into the shade, I get one. Strong fish. I didn't even know it was deep up in here. I, I, I've been to this creek a few times and I always went downstream, come upstream and look at this fish. Oh, and there he goes. That was a good solid pound and a half. It was a, it was a thick, healthy looking largemouth too. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. He knocked that thing up out of the water. <laughs> There's a little bass. All right, maybe my last one. I think that's, I came through this hole and I, this is a little bass, I think nipped at my swim bait. So, um, and I caught a bass up there that hit the swim bait, went back with this and caught him. And it's got the hook on the end there. And then I fished several areas where I threw the swim bait and the, the plopper and I couldn't get any of the fish to hit. So, and I'm, and I'm watching them out. So it's really helping me learn a lot about top water fishing and in the creeks. And well, I guess, I guess when it gets this hot middle of the summer, um, whatever, if they're gonna hit something, they're gonna hit this. So from what I've seen, uh, the couple days that I've been using it, and it's pretty fun, I have to say that. You can just throw it out there a lot further. It stays on top of the water, so you don't have to worry about getting hung up and stuff, unless there's a lot of grass on the water. And um, when the fish hit it, sometimes they're exploding on it, sometimes they're just grabbing the end and getting hooked on the back. So I'm, I'm starting to get some confidence in this top water thing, and man, it's a fun way to fish some creeks. Yeah, so there was a creek that I was wanting to check out. It was about 30 minutes from where I fished, so I still got a little bit of daylight. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of check it out a little bit. I was just wanting to learn a little bit about it, you know, access and stuff. So uh, we'll go down and make a few casts. Um, I'm getting a lot of confidence in this topwater thing, so anything could happen down here. Oh, wow. Ooh, this creek looks good. Somebody had told me about it recently. And um, finally was wanting to check it out. Man, that's awesome. There we go. Is he on? Yeah, we got one on. Okay, we finally got one to hit. <laughs> oh man, 
that's what it's about the size of a couple of my saw. I was like, come on, something's gotta hit. I'm just about to like give up. I'm right the the top up here, this pool. And finally one smacked at it. Alright, I'll get you other. Hold on. Okay. Well, a little small mouth there. But okay, the whopper plopper got me one. So alright, it's coming through. Well, I'm slowly but surely coming around to what a lot of people are already doing. I'm always behind on things. It's, I have a hard time trying new stuff, and, but I, I like to try new stuff, but it, it just takes a while to build confidence in whatever you're doing. If you're trying something new and the fish just aren't biting, it, it gives you, a, you know, you're like, well, like that lure wasn't working, but it, when it, really it just the fish weren't biting or something like that. So the fish are definitely biting and they're hitting the little top water. I got a lot more top water lures I need to practice with, but I'm really getting confidence in the whopper plopper style lures. I'm just a steady retrieve, just let that fish come and hit it. And um, the few tests I did, I, I, there was a few places where I fished with the swim bait and with the Helgramite in the same place that I was doing the whopper plopper. And the results were the same. Like if they were gonna hit the swim bait, they hit the um, whopper plopper. Um, so, and then a couple places I saw fish and I fished it with swim bait, nothing. Went back, fished with the whopper plopper, nothing. So, um, and then there was a couple places I fished with whopper plopper and I saw fish, they didn't hit it. Went back with other lures, they still didn't hit it. So if they were gonna hit it, they were gonna hit the whopper plopper for sure today. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you like these videos. I'm, I'm gonna try to do some more smallmouth topwater fishing. Uh, if you got any more ideas on that, or if that's something you use a lot, or maybe what time of the year you use it. Um, you know, it's middle of July, it's hot. It's, it should be a good time. And um, so if you got any information, feel free to leave a comment. And thanks so much for watching.